Hello everybody, this is at Zoo, or this is part 14 of Metal Gear Solid 2. So I'm speaking more softly than I usually am because there's other people in the vicinity, I don't want to disturb them. So to answer phone, use the coolant spray to put out the fire. I never would have figured that one out, game. <laughs> so, spray the fire. There we are. So you gotta scamper down these steps, grab the ration, and get back up before it falls. Like that. Then you gotta take a cartwheel of faith off that section there. So you just gotta hope you land there. With some PSG-1 bullets and PSG-1T bullets. There. Yeah. And this is an AK suppressor, which is very useful. Suppress it to AK-74U. That should be useful. Very. And I walk across this pipe again. You don't want to slip on, you don't, you don't, you don't want to run across that because you slip on the bird poop and die. That'd be quite a way to die, wouldn't it? Slipping on bird poop. Yeah, there's a ration back there. I got the ration. So let's go up here. And, uh-oh. You gotta run across those before they fall. There. And go down here. Oh, more guards. You know what to do with them, right? I know what to do with them. Come on, right in. Steady aim, pro. Steady aim. There we are. It may have been overkill using the sniper rifle, but oh well. It got it done. It got it done, didn't it? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you. Let's go to the SOCOM again. Climb the ladder. Do the strut L perimeter. There we are. You gotta sneak by these windows without the guards seeing ya. There you are. I'm gonna slip off here and go around this way because those, those plates up there will start to fall too, those floor panels. Slip up here. Smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. Let's get her across this. There. Dramatic zoom in under the air duct. There. Hello, what's this guy gonna do? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's, that's attractive. Why am I standing under this, do you ask? Your guess is as good as mine. How long does this guy go? Um, can the human bladder even hold that much? I haven't the clue. I think I'm going to need a shower after this. <laughs> yeah. First person view for most dramatic effect. Up and he's done. Oh, well, that was exciting, wasn't it? There you are. AK bullets. And you. And you. Ration. We're full of born rations. Yes. There, ciphers. Take these guys out. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. There. 
we are. There, got him. Pistol sniping. Shaft grenade and PSG one bullet. And over here is SOCOM bullets, and that's locked. Okay, try to cartwheel over this without falling. There we are. Let's get her across this. There we are. We're home free. We're in the Shell 2 core now. Shell 2 core. Oh, Cutscene. Yay. More of those. Another directional microphone scene. This one doesn't have a have a hidden scene, so you just gotta focus on Olga here. I'm in here. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. On right and don't be stupid like me. Start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich's soldiers are the cream of the crop. This time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again. Can't you stay in one place? Jeez. She's done. Can't they stay in one place? Sheesh. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right. No sign of flooding. But I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't electrified. 1.21 giga gigawatts. Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah. I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got and it. blow up the president in the process. Make sure you don't hit the president. Well, there is that plan. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Okay, yeah, yeah, I gotta get one of those. Need a remote control missile launcher. I, I don't need the directional microphone anymore. Somebody's sleeping. 
Well, you can see the president has a health bar too, Chris. Kind of pitiful health bar for the president. All right, get the Nikita first. SOCOM bullet. Cool. M9 cool. I'm saving that for bosses. Yeah. I'm full on health, so I don't need to ration. Ooh. Bye bye, big brother. Oh, I thought that was pointless then, wasn't it? Oh, shove them back here. Oh, chat grenades are full. And, uh, oh, my M4 is full. So there's the node. Jack into the network. There we are. There. M4, full. Okay, if so I need to get the a rocket launcher first. Fly by wire missiles. Cool. Okay. Oh, there's only one other destination. Basement one. Shell two core. D one filtration chamber number one. Oh, can't go that way. Oh no, it's right here. This is this is the swimming section. Yay, swimming. Okay. Okie dokie. I forget how to swim. Oh, thank you for that. I forget how to swim. Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. Uh, swimming isn't my strong point. It wasn't a part of the VR training either. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up, down, left, and right movement of the left stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. Okay, Loki. the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower, left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. Oxygen, yay. It corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So you gotta go up here on these parts every now and then. Get some air. Dookie. Or it's up in here. Go. So. There. Need the first person mode to get my heading right first. Nope, there's nothing there. There's something here. And night vision goggles, if we need them, I guess. Got thermal goggles too, don't we? Yep. There we are. There's nothing there. Keep running into the dead ends. What the? Rubber ducky. Hello there. Rubber ducky, you're the one. <laughs> oh, underwater mines. Alright, that's kind of dangerous. Oh, there's the Nikita. That's what we need it. You have the remote controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, avoid underwater bomb. There, yeah, I was kind of close. 
see if I can make it without taking another breath. There are plenty of oxygen. There. Now it's just practice, I guess. Because we're going to have to go through that again later. Okay, back to the first floor. There we are. Now you gotta take out the control panel without hurting the president. Oh, that's M4 bullets. Don't need those. There. I need, I need to keep the bullets. There we are. I like how they're called bullets even though they're clearly rockets. They call them bullets even though they're rockets. There. Where's the Nikita? There we are. Ooh. Ooh. Wrong turn. There we are. Which way do I go? I forget which way to go. Well, that worked. Well, the president's kind of standing there, so I got to get him to move. Get him to move out of the way. Okay, I went the wrong way there. Loki. Get out of the way. You don't want to die, do you? There we are. Stupid president wants to die. And that's taken care of? Alright. Let's go meet the president. President Johnson. Hello. President Johnson. So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you going to Hmm. What the crotch grab. You're a man? <laughs> well, who are you? I guess that's I guess that's more reasonable than a handshake. I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Okay. One four one point three seven. Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for what? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind the Patriots. the Patriots. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the patriots rule this country. Now, hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. Definitely the not. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. 
How well do you know? Faith was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. <laughs> Cut out. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office at the White House? Merely puppets, pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. Yep, you definitely will. Or as Ryan would say, be definitely not. Patriots. <laughs> I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. Not a chance. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic. Civil war, chaos. They already had a civil war. <laughs> like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public George Foreman. <laughs> I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the president. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses. It, they're putting it together. That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not... Seems our Metal Gear Solid 1. Plans. What's more, Solid has decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I recently ordered Metal Gear Solid 1, too. I should be getting here soon. The Twin Snakes he version. That's the story Can't wait to play that. Public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn, for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... All rigged. Like show, wasn't it? Kind of like the 2000 presidential election, right? <laughs> ah, I kid. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Hmm. Following his resignation, 
Hollis's health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Cat? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovich's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued projects, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. No, really. Didn't figure that one out. No, not yet. What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. And where's the new Metal Gear? You're standing on right it. Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire big shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen That's is sure about that. designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main it. structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 code. Is that the other way back there again? Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? Yeah, how long is this cutscene? right. Arsenal, we're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced missiles. Dang it, Kojima. The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Huh? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Mm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. Truth. In short, the Arsenal system... <laughs> Nothing's the, the truth key anymore. Supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I hoped to trade my way into their ranks. The son of this preferred rebellion, Outer Heaven, is planned to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community. It's also a key factor in the hope of effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football serves as a football. I don't see a football anywhere. American football or everywhere else football. Other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma. Emma. She's the system programmer for Arsenal gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. 
This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to... Mm, level four card. Yeah. Give this to her when you find her. Planning. A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, shell one core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right. Modeled after Foxstein. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered to fail safe. Fox die, Fox hound. What's this, what's this theory that it's fascination to foxes? We just need fox in the cloud now. <laughs> well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. I have no problems killing you. This is running a little long. Dang cutscenes. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? I'm Emma. Stop Arsenal! This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. <sighs> nope, he did. I didn't do it that time. <laughs> well, anyway, might as well save it. I didn't do it that time. What? What do you mean I can't save it? Fine. Just as a play along a little more, I guess, so I can save it. Oh, I couldn't let me. In. Colonel, the president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. Mm. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. Ryden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. Yeah, I want to save it, dang it. Located on level B1 in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the president didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Ryden, out. Oh, come on, I want to save it already. What's your status, Ryden? Snake, the president. He's been assassinated. Hey, Kojima. There was nothing I could do. 
What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal Gear. You knew about Arsenal Gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you <laughs> also know that the big shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the big shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal Gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the president and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal Gear is... Come on, I want to say this. It was all set up two years ago, on that day, all of it. Two years ago? What really happened No, here? come on, stop already. Oh, dang it. I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. Oh, come on. Infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dahl, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. No, come on. The snake, taken by the cipher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorist. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero. So they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it. They set all this up just to nail you guys. No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it. Then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal Gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. And it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm.
Forget it. We're wasting time. Yeah, you're wasting my time too. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles. Right. You've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich my sister? What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Right, find her. I'm on my way. Okay, now can I save it? Okay, finally. Sorry about that. Went longer than I wanted it to. Went longer than I wanted it to. Yeah, this is an extra large special episode, I guess. With cheese. Jack, what is it? I've always been alone. Huh? I'm so lonely. Oh. Lonely. Well, hey, come on. Always... Don't drag no. this out longer than it needs to be. What do you mean? You never slept beside me. What are you talking about? I... After we've been together in my room, you stay awake all night, or you head for the door. Is this really the time to bring this up? Yeah. Why, Jack? Why? Listen, Rose, I'm right in the middle of a mission, and I... Why? Why can't you relax when you're with me? I don't really care right now. The mission. <laughs> I... Yeah, the mission. Open up to me. Rose, I, I just can't. All I ever wanted was to share your dreams. To spend a meaningful evening with you. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? The night. I'm scared of the night. It's got nothing to do with you. Scared of the night? What's that supposed to mean? I can't relax when I'm with someone. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. I need privacy. I just can't be bothered. Bothered? Wrong word. What I wanted to say was that there are certain things that I have to keep to myself. Do you remember that time I forced my way into your room? We've known each other for almost a year, and you blew up. It was the first time you ever raised your hand against me. I was so worried about you. Look, I'm sorry. It wasn't your violent nature that scared me. It was your room, your heart. Blah, blah, blah. There wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. Rose? No television set. No family pictures. Not even a poster. Rose, I only use that room for sleeping. A lifeless room. Almost like your empty heart. That's why I tried to keep you out. I thought it was beginning to understand you. Would you have been happier if I had a picture of you hanging on the wall? That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. Yeah, After you can shut up now, lady. Right. After the mission. I understand. Yeah, sorry about that. See you next time.